Alright, so right now I'm on the bottom removing the power steering rack. And right here we have a 19 mil nut that we need to remove. Already loosened as you guys can see. And then over here, I haven't checked this side yet. It might be like maybe a 17 for the top one. Right there. That one is actually a 19 on the top, so we have to get another size for the bottom one right here to remove the power um, steering rack. And then we have another nut that we gotta remove over there. I'm just using my ratchet along with my handle right here for my jack to get some more leverage to break it loose. I'll show you guys at the top right now how I'm gonna do that. But I just got it from this angle right here. And now I'm just loosening it. All right, there you go. So right here I have my ratchet at the bottom. It's a 17 mil. Not at the top. Got my 19 mil. And then right here, as you can see, when I turn it, it turns the bottom one as well. So you will need to hold them both down in order to loosen it because you can see it's still moving it. Alright, so now I gotta remove a few like connections. And so far it looks like this just goes directly to the steering rack, so I don't need to disconnect that. But I should disconnect this right here. I was gonna remove it from this side. But this goes all the way to the holes over here, so I can just remove this one, pull it out, and then as for this other hard line right here, there's no like holes to it that I can really see. It's just a complete hard line. And there's also another connection that goes right here to the other side, but I already removed this, so I took the engine out. And then there's a bolt right here that you can take off. Let me actually do that right now, so it's already loose. So it just has a, I think it's a 12 mil bolt on the back which is this one right here. Then you can pull this up out of the way and that'll allow you to remove that part. So let's loosen this clamp right here and then go from there. struggling to remove the um, end links right here that go to the rack so I just decided to go ahead and loosen this up from right here in order to get this other end out because I was able to loosen these with no problem but these I cannot take it off of this thing right here I don't know why but it is stuck on there and I've seen people that melt or use like a, a torch to be able to heat it up and that helps loosen it. Got a marker and marked it like right here so I know exactly where the bolt or this end was at. And then just loosen this and left it in the same area that way I know like where to put it back at. But I'm for sure gonna need like an alignment after um, I put the new one on there anyway. Um, if I get it right or not, putting it back exactly to where it was. As long as it's close, I should be fine. Right there, I'm doing the same thing. I'm loosening it from that area. And then I'm gonna remove this brace from right here. There's a few bolts holding it in. There's that one right there. And then there's two more right here in the back. Two more over there and then i'll remove this entire brace so it can come down but i'm first going to loosen that over there i'll show you guys really quick what i'm doing but i'm just grabbing this and then i'm just like loosening it right there and as you guys can see it's already gone back quite a bit so i'm just going to keep going until that comes off and That'll be the end of that. All right, so there you go. Got the one off right there as well. And now we're gonna loosen these. Uh, they are 17 mils. Right there, you can see 17. And I'm just gonna use a breaker bar, and these should come right off. Right there, just have an extension just like this and loosen it. Let's 
Ini salah ambil dulu. Okay, so there you guys go, I removed it. There's this hard line right here. I just unscrewed that one. But then there was this little at the top where I could have just unscrewed this top part. I think the hose needs to be replaced anyway because this thing is this thing is like not coming off at all. So I'm just gonna have to um purchase a new hose. And then here at the bottom, as you guys can see, I just got one more bolt I need to remove, and this whole thing will come out and we can clean that up really nice. Uh, but for the most part, everything else looks a lot better, as you guys can see. Like that just looks really filthy. Same thing right there. And then there's also this like wire that goes in this little hole right here that I forgot to take off and it was holding it into place. And I'm so lucky that I did not rip the wire because that thing was the only thing supporting the entire weight of the rack. So this one right here, it was just holding on to these two wires right here with this like little clip right there just holding it into place and then the hoses that go right there the lines are these right here that are removed you should loosen those while it's on the car that way you can get a good grip on it it doesn't move on you all right guys so here is the rack and pinion finally got it i think it took like about a week to be able to get it uh this one i got it on ebay and it says that it's oem and it's remanufactured and in order to get the warranty on it, you have to go ahead and send your old one back and then it activates the warranty and it's lifetime. So that's pretty sick. But I got this one for I think it was like 210 bucks, which is really good compared to like what it is brand new from AutoZone or your other auto parts. They wanted to charge me like $700 just to get a brand new one. Let's go ahead and check it out. I haven't taken it out of the box yet. So here's the used rack and pinion and the new one over there side by side that way you guys can kind of see the difference between each one and for the most part everything looks exactly the same except for this right here on my rack and pinion for the m45 i have this connection right here but that doesn't and i'm not exactly sure why i was trying to see if i could disconnect it but i'm not really sure how to remove it even if it doesn't fit over there or i can't put it on there which it looks like i should be able to because it has that on the side um, i could just swap it out removing these allen keys right here and putting it on there because they seem to be in the exact same position so i mean it should technically work but we'll see if i can take it off of this one and put it over there all right so i went ahead and removed the other one on the newer one there's just no way that I feel like even if I were to take that one off, that would go in here. It looks like jammed and messed up. Right there, you can kind of see like a wire sticking out as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my old one on there. I mean, it's exactly the same. There's like no difference to it at all, as you guys can see. And then I went ahead and cleaned this one up, and it looks a lot better, a lot cleaner. I went ahead and used some electrical cleaner. On it as well right here to clean up the connections and these rings right here look a lot newer so we should be good to go ahead and reuse those so we're just going to put it back on and then i just need to purchase the new o-rings for that one over there so once i get that then we should be good to go i just noticed that this line right here is like bent really bad on that corner right there and i don't want to reuse that line and they're also touching each other 
I already bent it out of placement, but like it was touching right here on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually take these lines off, which I already started removing right here. And I'm gonna replace them and put them on the new rack and pinion because I don't really want to have any issues. I don't know if like they're gonna make noise if they're touching each other or this is gonna cause a problem because it has a dent and these are perfectly fine. These have like no defects at all. So I'm just gonna put these on there. I just thought I'd make that a point um, to loosen these. I'm just going downward and it loosens it. I already loosened this one right here. Just use an open-ended wrench or if you have the correct size, I think it's a 12 mil, you can loosen it like right here. I'm already loosening this one right there. I'm just gonna clean the other ones up right here because they're really dirty. And I think we should be good to go. And these look really bent, like you can see, it goes all the way down. I believe it's this one right here, it goes like that. You can see how straight this one is compared to the other one over here. Like it curves right there, then it goes back down, over, and then you can see that end right there. Look at this one, how nice that curve is. So yeah, I'm for sure going to just replace this. Especially because this one has like a curve right there. I'm not sure if that'll cause a leak or something, but might as well just replace it. But I'll do that and then I'll pick it back up and we'll put it on the car. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and install the rack and pinion now, and I went ahead and cleaned this up. You guys can see it looks a lot better than what it looked like before. Just use some degreaser, wipe it down, and then I went to my local junkyard and I found the hoses that I need to be able to replace the ones that were right there, and then this one over here as well. And of course, I can't find where they're at. Oh, here is one. This looks like it's in pretty good shape, so we should be able to reuse this one. But uh, the other one, I picked it up as well. I don't remember where I put it, but I need this one right now mainly because it's the bottom one. And the other thing I need is the O-rings right here. Um, I don't really want to reuse these, so I'm going to try to find some new ones at my local auto parts store. But that's the only thing that I really need. Everything else is good to go, and we should be able to install it. All right, guys, so here's everything installed now. I got the plate in there, and then I got the threads in there as well. Everything came out really good. I just need to put the nut on that side over there, still missing, but everything else is good. And then when it came to the rack and pinion, um, I went ahead and just put two bolts on the back side. That way it leaves this plate like hanging up to right here. That way I have enough space to shove the rack and pinion in between those two areas so I'm not using too much strength. And then after I put it in there, then I lifted it and then I put one bolt right here to hold it up. That's how I did it, made it a lot easier instead of trying to use like a jack to push it up. And then everything else on the top is installed as well. Got the bolts, tying it up. And then now you guys can see it looks a lot cleaner. Uh, like I stated before, I just need the O-rings and then I can go ahead and install this. But this is the one that I got from the junkyard. I'm gonna install it right there. I'm just gonna attach to the end over there. I feel like these look in pretty good condition, but I mean, I'd rather just replace them. You know, you already have the part out. They're only a few bucks to be able to purchase them. And then the lines, these go over, and then these need to go under, going over here, and then attaches, and then these come with like a plastic cover, so I don't think it's in there. I just used some pliers, grabbed the edge, and turned it. That way I can start removing it. But I just have it on there for right now, that way nothing gets in there while I get the O-rings. But this is gonna move up to go into that hole over here. And that's technically it. Yeah, I'm really happy with how it's looking. It looks a lot better, a lot cleaner. It's not a bunch of gunk buildup all over the place. If you guys remember from the previous clip where I degreased it, this whole thing was completely filthy along with the connections, but now it looks so much better than what it looked like before. A little bit of an update for you guys. I was able to find some universal O-rings at uh, my local auto parts store. I went to AutoZone and they had this one, the Dorman. And it has a bunch of these O-rings right here. And I found two of them that were really good fit for this one. I already used it, I already connected and everything. And then there was another one like this one. Both of the fittings are slightly different in size. One of them is this size and the other one was the other size, which is like closer to this one right here. But there's no more. It looks like I only had one in that package. Uh, the rest of these wouldn't really fit. They're too big or too small. But... Here's the finished product right here. 
everything now connected and installed i just need to put this right here and then i also need to put a zip tie right here so these can be together because that's how it comes from factory um and other than that that is pretty much it and then i just attached this right there for the transmission because i had my jack under there and i wanted to remove it so i could use my jack but there you go i had to show you guys that before i close out the video just so you guys can see that everything is now installed it looks so much cleaner and better than what it looked like before all right guys so i'm gonna make this part really quick i did pick up a few more hot wheels all right as you guys can see i got this gt2 and then also i got this nissan patrol custom which i think is pretty unique and sick and i still haven't found something to be able to put them up on the wall so i will be doing that once i get it i'm gonna have to look like on ebay or something because I went to the store and I couldn't find anything else to be able to mount this up to the wall without making too much holes or putting too many pins on the wall. So that'll be coming up soon, hopefully. I can do that in the next few videos. But hopefully you guys enjoyed or found this video useful for removing and installing a new racket pinion on your M45. I'm pretty sure it is the same as the M35, but don't quote me on that. Every time I would look for the part, it kept saying M35 and M45, so I'm pretty sure it should be the same. I'm not sure if all-wheel drive would be different because this one is real-wheel drive. But yeah, um, there is going to be a few more videos coming. Um, I was just waiting on this to be able to order the engine. I was planning on going with a used engine or rebuilding this one, but I still have not been able to find all the parts that I need to be able to completely rebuild this. So I may most likely have to go uh, with a used engine. So that should be very soon. I do want to order it really fast because I wanted to get that in there so I can get this up and running. That's the only thing that I really need. Everything else is set to go. But yeah, that's going to conclude the video. If you guys are interested in watching more videos, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.